Welcome everyone to another episode of SoCal Living, where we mix lifestyle and real estate. I'm Eric Harris, your community realtor, with another real estate solution. Check out this scenery, because it's time to get you ready for Cultivera, the brand new housing community coming at the end of this year off of La Media Road in Chula Vista, right around the corner of Olympian High School. One of the builders in this community will be Shea Holmes, who will be building three different housing styles in Cultivera. The first are townhomes called Fuse. The second, large single family homes up to 3,500 square feet with an extra kitchenette called Savannah. And lastly, today's video subject, Luca, a single family home with three different floor plans, ranging from four to five bedrooms, three to three and a half bathrooms, and 2,500 to 2,800 square feet, depending on which plan you choose. Today is June 30th, 2021. Shea Homes opens up its priority listing today. You need to get on this list now, and I mean now. If you want to be one of the first to get into these homes, they are sold in phases, and with every phase, the price will increase. This process will not be conducted like resale homes, meaning no putting in offers hoping the seller picks you. You will click a link to fill out a form answering a few basic questions, such as your name, phone number, email address, if you'll have a co-buyer information if needed, whether or not you'll be paying in cash, financing a loan, and the type of loan. You will also need to disclose if you will be contingent or non-contingent when you purchase with Shea Homes. Contingent means you need to sell your current home before purchasing a new one. The priority list will be broken into three tiers. Tier one, the Shea Homes investors. Tier number two, non-contingent buyers or a buyer who does not need to sell a home. And tier three, contingent buyers, someone who has to sell their current home to purchase. Once you're on the priority list, their lender, Shea Mortgage, will reach out to you directly to make sure that you are approved by, for financing I highly recommend you reach out to your preferred lender beforehand to provide a pre-approval letter on your behalf. This will give you a chance to be approved for Shea Homes faster, and when your preferred lender has your documentation on hand already, it makes it easier to cross-qualify with Shea Homes. If you do not have a preferred lender, I have one for you. But be sure you have at least two pay stubs, the last two months of bank statements, and the last two years of tax ready for when Shea Home calls you. Now the most important part, pricing. Officially, pricing has not been released yet. They are planning to release pricing in the first phase at the end of July with homes estimated to be completed by the end of the year. They stated house prices may range from mid to high 700s. So it looks like for homes to start around the $750,000 to $790,000 range. Click the link in the description to be taken to the priority list and hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next video with more updates on Cultivera, like when Savannah will be released. That's gonna be my home. So I'll catch you guys next time on SoCal Living. Have a great day.